Allah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu tells us that the rope of Allah is the Qur'an. Hold on to the Qur'an however you can. Whether it means reciting it, whether it means studying it, whether it means analyzing it, whether it means whatever the Qur'an is for you. Hold on to the Qur'an and recite it. As we and continue to discuss this point about reading the Qur'an often and being close to it, <coughs> we continue to mention that as you do this, continue to make dua that Allah Azza wa Jal protects you from being lazy. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was always known to raise his hands and make dua to Allah Azza wa Jal calling upon him and say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-kasal. Can you imagine the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to ask Allah, Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the evils of laziness. From the and so being moderate in how you live your lifestyle and how much wealth you acquire, this is also an aspect of our etiquettes that helps us to hold on to the rope of Allah Azza wa Jal. Don't be of those that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala asked a rhetorical question in Surah At-Takathur. Al-Hakum At-Takathur Hatta Zurtum Al-Maqabir are you still in a state of play where you are trying to collect as much as you can? You're trying to consume as much as you can. When is this going to stop or when is it going to relax itself and become moderate? Hatta zurtumul maqabir. Is it going to end when it's time for you to reach your graves? Whenever I look at the surah, it's very frightening to know how Allah Azza wa is speaking to us here. I mean, it sounds profound. It sounds like Allah is refuting us. Allah is upset speaking here. Hatta zurtumul maqabir. Are you going to be in this state until you reach your graves? And this surah has an interesting story to it. Once there was a time when the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, and Umar radiallahu an and Fatima radiallahu anha, four individuals. Once the t there was a time when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam walks out of his home after dhuhr. Those of you who have been to the Middle East, you know what after dhuhr is like outside. It's hot, it's sunny, and most of the Middle East still observe that when during that time stores are closed and everybody stays indoors. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is walking outside and he sees Abu Bakr and he sees Umar radiallahu anhum. So they see him, the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they ask him, Ya Rasulullah, what are you doing outside at this time? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam turns the question on them and said, what are you all doing here? And they said, Ya Rasulullah, we are hungry and we are looking for food. Allahu al-musta'an. The companions are the people who should be the richest people in the world. They should have the most wealth because they are the ones who carried Islam to us. Yet you find companions, they are searching for food on the hottest time of the day. And Abu Bakr and Umar radiallahu anhum, they lift up their garment and they showed the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that each of them had a large stone tied at their stomachs in order to constrict and hold the hunger that they were feeling. What do you think the Prophet ﷺ did? He lifts up his garment and you find that there were two stones. ﷺ. Two stones. So they see another companion. And this companion invites them, Abu Ay Ayyub al-Ansari, he invites them to their home. He sees all of them gathering, speaking, so he says, come in. If you need food, I have food. And they sit down. He goes and he slaughters a sheep and he prepares it and he brings it with some bread. Remember, the hadith is very specific. It mentions sheep or meat and bread, two items alone. And I want you to pay attention to this. Only two items are mentioned. And so the Prophet ﷺ is sitting. Abu Bakr and Umar and the third companion, now they are all here sitting. Now we have four people. The Prophet ﷺ orders that Fatima radiallahu anha come. 
because she has not seen this type of food in a long time. Order her to come. So she comes. And the Prophet ﷺ tells all of those who are sitting there eating this food, he says, Wallahi, Allah Azza wa Jal will ask us about this extravagance that we are enjoying. This amount of food that you and I are enjoying right now, Allah Azza wa Jal will ask us about it. ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَئِذٍ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ so there will come a time where they were asked about how moderate they were in their eating, in their sleeping, in their lifestyle. And today, mashaAllah, today <laughs> we want everything from the rice to the salad to the sauce to the dessert to the juice and bring a milkshake and bring this fruit and bring that fruit. And then subhanAllah, this is okay to an extent. But the problem is, is that when you finish eating, you find that half the rice is sitting on the floor. You find that half the food is still sitting here. We don't realize that Allah Azza wa Jal actually is going to bring us where you say, you know, on this food. He's going to bring us account and He will ask us, Ya Fulan, O Ahmed, O Muhammad, O Salih, O Fatima. And He will ask us, this day you ate this food, why did you leave it? Don't you realize that there are people out there who are still searching for the same grains of rice that you and I enjoy? So hold on to the rope of Allah Azza wa Jal. Your friends will define who you are. You may think that you are a good person, you don't do anything wrong, and everybody loves you and you're just moderate type of guy. Realize that just by simply having the company that is opposite to you. So let's say you have friends that smoke, that drink, that do haram things. Or even if they are Muslim and they never pray. Realize that you are also associated with this type of person. And the Prophet ﷺ tells us in an authentic hadith that a human, the person, he is on the religion of his friends. He is on the way of life of his friends. It's an authentic hadith in Bukhari wa Muslim. A person is on the religion of their friends, their companion. So look to see who it is that you befriend. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>